From your meeting together at your kids' sporting events to helping each other through some of the most difficult times in life, you both show a level of compassion and understanding that is far too rare today. You are two of the most decent people I've ever met, and I believe you will be a full and complete partner to one another. This new chapter in your life will be full of wonderful new experiences, and your perspective on life will probably change with those experiences. You will blend together two unique people into a connected unit, fully relying on each other and learning to lean on one another. Your outlook and response to the friction you may encounter, to your differences of opinion or point of view, will challenge you, and I challenge you, brighten one another, collide with grace and unselfish love. To you, Larry, I love you. To you, Larry, Amanda writes, we say often it feels as if we were meant to be serendipitous, if you will. I was attracted to Larry's calm voice, his command of language, which allows him to say exactly what he feels and to define his intent. What is amazing is that he demonstrates what he stands for and believes in with every act, no matter how great or small. He told me his goal was to make me as happy as I was on the day on which my children were born. He has not let me down. I love Larry because he is a decent and honest man. She says, I love you, Larry, because you took a risk to love fully again and to live well. I love that you show me every day what a good relationship is and what it means to have a full partner in life. Salute. In 25 years, she says to you, L1, thank you for each day and every moment. I still catch my breath each time I see you. Every night I have fallen asleep with my anchor at my side, and each morning I have awakened to fall in love a bit more. Thank you for caring for me, the children and grandchildren. I want another 25 years of being the lucky one. Beautiful words from beautiful people who have a love that is a parent. Larry writes this, I was first attracted to Amanda's personality, to her charm, and to her beauty, inside and out. What I love is Amanda's sense of humor, her caring and empathy for people, her tenacity, and her love for me and my daughters. What I would like to say to Amanda in 25 years, Amanda, thank you for coming into my life, for being available when I needed you. For your patience in allowing our relationship to develop and grow. And for loving me and my daughters unconditionally. bride has chosen to express how she feels about you. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and the height that my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight for the ends of being and ideal grace, I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right, I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use 
and my old griefs and my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God chooses, I shall but love thee better after death. I, Larry, take you, Amanda Mignon. I, Larry, take you, Amanda Mignon. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I will love you and comfort you. I will love you and comfort you. I will honor and keep you. I will honor and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. I will keep only to you. I will keep only to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amanda Mignon, would you please repeat these words to Larry? I, Amanda Mignon, take you, Larry. I, Amanda Mignon, take you, Larry. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I will love you and comfort you. I will love and comfort you. I will honor and keep you. I will honor and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others, I will keep only to you. I will keep only to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Today we celebrate a very special ceremony of saint. It's a symbol of the beauty and intricacy of joining your hearts and your families together. And as these grains of sand can never be separated, so too will be the love that you all <laughs> share. By the power invested in me, by the state of Texas, and as approved by all these great kids, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and make some noise for your newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Larry Bio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going. They just got married.
been amazing to see you transform into somebody I knew you were all along when you found Larry. So I'm thrilled for you two. I hope that you just did a life of happiness. And I love you both very much. <laughs> This is going to be a nice one, I promise. <laughs> finding that special person, you know, finding finding that 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 your mate, your uh, your spouse, uh, it's all about timing. Everything about our past that creates us, everything uh, everything about what makes us who we are, we build on, and then we take full advantage of it when the time comes. I know that from my own experiences, and I've seen that with Larry. Timing is everything. If you know my wife, you know that she would not have had me 20 years ago. I mean, there's no question, right? And uh, just smile and say yes, be polite. And so, so I'm going to teach you something that I learned from a, from a very wise old gentleman. He was actually a, um, uh, um, a fighter pilot for uh, aircraft carriers in World War II and, in, and then later in Korea. And he told me, he said, Jim, he said, he said let me be clear, the secret to happiness is the love of a good woman and something to look forward to. And what evolved over the years and what I found was that that thing that I was looking forward to was the next day of that love of a good woman. <laughs> and it meant everything to me. And so, and so my, my wish for them as a couple, and, uh, and for Larry and for Amanda, is, is to learn that in a shorter time than it took me. <laughs> May your absolute best days of yesterday be the worst of tomorrow. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite everybody back to the dance floor for Amanda and Larry's first dance. Let's give it up for Amanda and Larry. At this time, I'd like to invite Larry's daughter Morgan to the dance floor for their father-daughter dance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Larry and Morgan. I'd like to now invite Jillian to join her father on the dance floor for their father-daughter dance. Let's give a round of applause for Larry and Jillian. At this time, I'd like to invite Adam to join Amanda on the dance floor for their mother-son dance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Adam. And let's give it up also for Amanda's godfather, Frank Birdsong.
Let's hear it for Frank and Amanda. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now your turn. The dance floor is open, so I'd like to invite all the couples out to the dance floor to join Amanda and Larry for their first dance floor song. And I remember, and I think to myself, Gentlemen, we have the garter toss next. I'd like to ask Amanda to please stay on the dance floor, please. I'd like to ask Larry to please join us on the dance floor. yourselves. At this time, Larry and Amanda will be having their last dance, so please feel free to join them on the dance floor.
in heaven For you are mine At Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Larry and Amanda. At this time, they will be making their grand exit. I'd like to invite everybody to begin making their ways outside and to also grab some rose petals off the table by the entryway. And please don't forget to drop off your advice. On behalf of both families and Agave Estates, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this evening and celebrating with Amanda and Larry as they both Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together one last time and make some noise for your newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Larry Fowl.